Hi, this is Brett with Piano Aha, and in this video, we want to talk about the situation where you have sheet music in front of you, and you ask yourself the question, what major key could that be? What could that be? I want to figure that out. So there's a trick for the sharps and a trick for the flats. Let's start with the sharps. The trick for the sharps is you look at the last sharp. So these sharps were introduced in this order, here, 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 and then here. And we want to look at this last one here. And this is D sharp. And you just go up a half step to the very next key on the piano. And that's an E. So this piece, if it's in major, then it is in E major. Another example. Here we only have one sharp, so obviously this is the last sharp. This is an F sharp. We go up a half step and get to a G. So again, if this piece is indeed in major, then it is in G major. Now there's a trick for the flats as well. This time we do not need to look at the last accidental. So we won't be looking at this last flat. We'll look at the second to last. Because that one tells us directly the name of the key. So since this flat here is a D flat, this piece, if it's in major, is in D flat major. Here's another example. There are only two, so the second to last one must be this one. And since this is a B flat, we are dealing with B flat major, if the key is in major. Now, what do we do with this one? Well, there's only one flat, so we can't look at the second to last flat. So the trick's not going to work, at least not in a simple form that we've been talking about here. But there's a way of remembering it. This is the only one you have to memorize. So if you forget it, then you can remember that it must be F, right? That's just a sort of a trick for remembering it. Another way to remember it is if you only have one f flat, then it must be F, because this here, indeed, if it is major, is F major. So don't f forget that one f flat is F major. So to sum up, this method only works if you have the sheet music in front of you. And additionally, this cannot be used backwards. And by that, I mean, if you want to know how many flats or sharps E major has, then this method is not going to help you do that. It will help you know the name of the major key if you see the sharps in front of you. So thanks for watching this video and many happy ahas.